Seems all right to me. What, for a vicar to go around having sex willy-nilly in front of her parishioners? Well, I shouldn't think it's a case of willy-nilly. Willy's got to be willing. <laughs> you can't do it with a willy that's nilly. Don't be serious, Owen. I am serious. On principle, I'm a great believer in sex before marriage. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had any sex at all. <laughs> Well, unfortunately, my memory is that Jesus was against it, which I think is a problem when we're talking about our vicar. Yes, but things were very different in his day. Women weren't emancipated, and they hadn't yet launched Minx magazine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Hugo, I bet you and Alice were at it like rabbits before you were married. <laughs> right, yes. Yeah, what did I tell you? Hugo. Yes, well, uh, we certainly ate a lot of carrots together. <laughs> Well, I'm still worried. There's something not right at all. And I mean, Simon's just not... Rubbish! As long as she's private about it, I think we should let her and Simon and their lovemaking be. OK. OK. Although I wouldn't mind seeing a few Polaroids. <laughs> so, time for bed? Uh, let's have a coffee first. OK, good idea. Fancy some ice cream? Yes, please. What flavour? What have you got? You don't want to ask that question. Why? Because I just got myself a brand new freezer. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> what do you fancy? I'll just have that little one. Oh, well, please yourself. You get a nice little dinky plastic spoon with that one. Thanks. <laughs> So happy you're here. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jerry, but uh, this just isn't working. Oh, I'll get you a proper spoon. <laughs> no, uh, I don't mean a spoon. I meant us. You and me. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. That's uh, unexpected. The thing is, uh, it's been fantastic. But uh, I think we've been taking things a little too fast. I feel we ought to apply the brakes for a second, if you get my meaning. Yes. Uh, I mean, you're speaking English, aren't you? And I understand English, so I don't think meaning's the problem. The thing is, there is... was... no, um, is another girl in Liverpool. Another girl? Yeah. We've been going through a lot of troubles. I thought it was definitely all off, but I've spoken to her a couple of times in the last week or so, and, uh, I don't know, maybe... I don't know. Oh, I think you do know. But you're a custard of the cowardy-cowardy variety. I know. I'm sorry. Why don't we just say that that was the autumn that was? Let's see what winter brings. Yeah. Either that or get out of my house, you treacherous, gigantic, elongated bastard. <laughs> uh, but no, probably the autumn wintry metaphor is much nicer. Much nicer for you. <laughs>